try some different retrieves today. I've got a little rabbit skin tennis ball, so we'll see how he is with it. Hey, welcome back YouTubers, uh, Facebookers and Instagrammers. I'm here back with this little puppy vlog, episode number four, guys. Um, and what I wanted to say to you is, um, everything you're seeing me do in this video is all I am doing with this puppy, okay? That's really important. I'm not doing anything else. Apart from obviously the dog being let out to go to the toilet, there is nothing else going on outside apart from this training you're seeing. So we're lifting off again with some basic retrieves. With a slightly different retrieve this time, I'm using a rabbit skin tennis ball. It's seen better days, but they seem to get better as they get older. I just want to work on getting that dog having fun at the start. Even though we left off doing some slightly more difficult retrieves at the end of last session, I'm starting off with a very easy retrieve. So I'm pretty happy with that. He did that pretty good, like that. So I'm now going to do it into a little bit of longer grass. The wind's in our face. So we're going to try and make him use his nose a little bit more. Only a little step on from last time, so. Right, so we're looking at the same retrieve as last time, but this time we're throwing into the wind into some slightly longer grass. It just means that the dog is going to mark and then hopefully have a little hunt prior to picking the retrieve. So by kicking the ball around on the floor, we're going to spread a little bit of scent, which is going to help the dog start to learn to hunt for the retrieve. It already knows what the retrieve smells like. So we're starting to get that dog to use its nose rather than its eyes. So there's sometimes when we want to use the eyes to help us with, for example, marking and for when we're doing handling later. But we also want the dog to learn to find through its nose and not through its eyes. So we have to switch that on and off. So you'll see me here distracting the putt with my right hand while my left hand is rubbing the ball on the ground. I don't want the dog to associate the ball being in my hand. So being quick and sly is really important. You then saw me throw the retrieve back just then and now putting my hands in my pocket and gonna let the dog figure it out itself. It's not a marked retrieve now. I'm just starting to stimulate him to hunt through finding a retrieve and the scent that I put on the ground. So I'll try and show you again. So what I'm gonna do is kick the ball about. And then I'm just gonna chuck him down. Right guys, so I'm going to do that again, I'm going to kick it about a bit, rub it a few times without him seeing, and then when he doesn't see, throw it, and try and get him to go onto it. So one of the things you'll always see me do here is after I've picked up the grass, I always turn into the wind to throw the retrieve down and then head in the direction that the wind's coming. That's important to help your dog be able to hunt for that scent. 
So here it's really important that the dog never sees you throw the retrieve, otherwise the dog will start to use its eyes rather than its nose. So what you can see here is after I throw the grass down, there's plenty of scent on the ground for me kicking the ball around. He's now trying to find the grass, which he thinks is a retrieve, and he's hunting the scent. When he then doesn't see, I place the retrieve down and then try and hunt him onto it, and he gets his retrieve. too badly for the very first time I've tried that as I said to you before my main thing is three things there letting them see the ball go about getting them to hunt on that scent getting him to come to my hand when I've done a swipe and then when he's not looking put a retrieve up behind him and then he can have a nice retrieve off the back of that I'm pretty pleased with that again for the first time so great okay so I'm gonna try a bigger retrieve now I've never thrown this one this big I don't think it'll be a struggle for him but I can throw it a bit further, which makes my job a little bit easier. Here we go. So I threw it high, so he had plenty of time to see it still in the air. pretty pleased with that in general that went pretty well um, over the coming weeks not an awful lot's going to change we're just still working on that mark retrieve teaching that dog to hunt through its nose I'm doing swipes with my hand holding the retrieve which is getting the dog used to coming to my hand when I call it I'll replace that with a whistle later um, and uh, just slowly going to progress that on over the weeks not a huge amount's going to change just making sure that as he starts to get a little bit more confident that he doesn't try and get the better of me because that often starts to happen but in general, I'm pretty pleased with that. 
Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. And if you want any help with online coaching, just contact me on Facebook and I'll do my best to help you.